Are healers out to take your money and just leave you high and dry with whatever problem you went to them with in the first place? I would say the answer to that question is generally no. However, I have definitely heard some horror stories, so I'd like to make this video all about things to watch out for when you're trying to hire a healer to help you with your specific situation. So let's get started. One of the worst things that I've seen so far is when healers use scare tactics to try to convince people to use their services. We would hope that they're at a very high vibrational place and they wouldn't have to stoop so low to use tactics such as these to get you to use them. They should already know that they are provided for and cared for and they don't have to worry about these sorts of things. However, unfortunately, this still happens. And there are many different ways that they can use scare tactics to try to get you to use them. And then you might not be so happy with the results. When you go to a healer with a problem that you might not know all that much about, you are going to depend on them to help you resolve that situation. Just like if you go to a doctor because you don't know necessarily what's wrong or how to fix your broken arm or your broken leg. Or you would call a plumber into your home because you have no idea what's happening with your tub or your sink. You depend on their expertise. So when you go to a healer, in many cases, they already know that they have that advantage over you. So again, if they're trapped worrying about making enough money, then all of a sudden they might use tactics like these. They might tell you that the only way to remove your negative entity attachment is to use them. They might specifically say, you can't heal this yourself. You're going to have to use me. Well, automatically now, what are you going to do? You're probably going to go, okay, you're the expert. Here you go. Here's the money. It may even be that they use a scare tactic without even realizing it. Let's say they tell you that you have a demon. Maybe they truly believe that you do. But as soon as you hear that you have a demon, how are you going to look at things? You're going to be scared beyond belief and you're going to depend on someone else to take care of that because heck, souls can't even take care of demons. So how could you ever as a limited 3D being take care of this yourself? And this brings us to the big important point in all of this. Anytime a healer tells you that you can't do it yourself or any time you fall into the belief system that you can't do it yourself, then you are now completely a slave to the entity and the torture that they're administering on you and to any healer who says that they can heal you. Ultimately, you can heal yourself. You can remove the entity yourself. You can step into your power and you can do all the things necessary to take care of this problem yourself rather than going to someone else to have them do it for you. That's the other angle on all of this. If you're going to a healer to remove a negative entity attachment, that process of removal may be very powerful and it may work right away and you may feel a lot better. But what we've seen over and over again is that, yeah, it works, but maybe it only works for a week or maybe only a day or maybe only an hour and sometimes for a split second. So that means that, yes, your entity can be removed, but it means that the process to remove it is not probably what you think. Going to a healer to have them remove it is taking something away from you that you can do it and that you can step into your power and you're probably here to do exactly that. Another thing that you really have to watch out for are the stories that you're told. If you go to a healer or a medium, they might go into all this detail about where the entity came from, what mistakes you made to have caused it to appear in the first place, and how difficult it will be to undo all of those things that were done already. When someone comes to me with this, now we have a lot of work to do because the person has already been set back by these thoughts, by these limiting beliefs. So we have to undo all of that first before we can actually address the problem or the, the core issue. So don't always buy into the story that a healer might tell you about your negative entity. 
especially because if you went to five different healers, they would probably all tell you five completely different stories about the type of entity you have, how you got it, what you need to do to get rid of it. Instead, what you need to focus on is you and how you can overcome it and how you can heal yourself so that you can remove it yourself. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I'm not a big fan of creating a circle of protection, of energy protection around yourself to keep out negative entities. A lot of healers recommend this, and I see it as a fear-based action. All we know is that the more fear you give your entity, the more it's going to stick around and the more it's going to cause you problems. Instead, say the opposite. I don't even need protection because I'm so strong. I'm so powerful. If you find a healer who also agrees with this, then you've probably found somebody that is of that higher vibrational frequency and is interested in teaching you how to step into that power rather than telling you how to step away from that power. There's another type of healer that will remove negative entities from you and they'll do it from a distance. And I'm not talking about through Zoom, but actually they will essentially disappear and you won't have any interaction with them at all. They'll work on it for weeks or maybe even months and then let you know eventually, hey, I removed it, you should be good. The problem with this is, once again, you're depending on somebody else to take care of this. And not only that, but you're not getting any indication whatsoever if they're actually paying any attention to you at all. Remember that your belief system is the powerful thing here. If you believe that this distant person who's not even interacting with you is all powerful and they're removing your entity for you and then it gets removed, wonder who's actually doing it. It could just be that it's you because you believe so strongly. That's truly how powerful you are. And by paying somebody else to do it, you're essentially paying yourself to do it. But you give, you've given the money elsewhere. What I have to say right here is everything. Instead of just looking at it that you're going to go back to the way things used to be, it's so important that you realize that this thing is happening to you in this life at this time so that you can advance in a completely new way, so that you can be a new amazing person, a new amazing version of yourself. And that version of yourself has been there this whole time, but it's been hidden. And so to release that, this is the perfect opportunity to do it. If you've watched any of my other videos, you may have participated in an activation to remove negative entities. This is a very quick activation and it's available in many of my videos. I'll leave a link so you can check that out right now. But understand that that is a removal process that I'm giving to you as opposed to you removing it yourself. So while it may be effective for a short time, even maybe in just an instant, it shows you that it is possible and it also may give you a little bit of relief that you've been needing. So you can use that to give yourself that relief, to take that break, take a big deep breath, and start doing the work that you need to do to make sure that when it goes away the next time or the next time after that, it stays away. And there's another thing that you can do because there's an activation on my website, I'll leave a link in the description below, that activates your halo chakra. This offers a little bit more strength, a little bit more warding off so that you can keep doing that work without being bugged or being irritated by your entity right away. It can certainly help you begin your journey to remove the negative entity yourself. So I highly recommend you check that out. I have another video series that is a documentary about negative entities in general. I'll leave a link for that as well. And I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know if you have any thoughts, suggestions, or great ideas for future videos. I love you unconditionally, and I'll see you in the next one.